Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. It's a beautiful Monday morning. It's Kadu Monday here in Barbados. Happy crop over, everybody. Yeah, wishing everybody a wonderful day. Be safe. Have a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Auntie's not leaving home today. Auntie was supposed to have her party time, her final release last night at um the soca 5.0 show that was not to be and that's absolutely fine yeah i'm gonna have a nice relaxing day today both of us have some things we need to get done and relax myself to plan for the week ahead yeah it's gonna be a nice day nice cool day mm -hmm. see me here rapunzel rapunzel finally let her locks down they're getting nice and long right yeah today's gonna be Lux wash day. It's going to be a nice pampering relaxing day. I'm looking forward to it. So, I am here to share some things that stood out to me last week with my little people, my beautiful people. Um, so much in terms of them using their voice and having so much to say. Yeah, let me speak first of all about Miss Shania. Fast becoming a favorite amongst uh, persons that follow auntie and my children on this journey. Shania has had, I would say, three lesson sessions so far. I am so impressed. She is a born leader. Very obvious. Uh, from the time auntie arrives, you know, Hi, morning, auntie Jessica. What you have for me today? And let me get my pencil. And you sit here and I sit here and... She doesn't allow anyone to come and like, be disturbing the lesson. Really takes charge of everything. I'm loving it. I'm loving her enthusiasm. You know, so I said she's loving the camera barn star. <laughs> Very much so. I'm loving the enthusiasm, especially in terms of the reading. Because when I first went and I took a book there for her, one of these... Is it easy to read? One of these story books that have a lot of different stories in it. And I was surprised she even was reading them on her own. Because she told me she doesn't normally spend a lot of time reading. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get some more of those books for her. And with the composition this week now, we, the topic was my best friend. And the way she shared about her best friend, Kaylee. Hello, Kaylee. You're such a sweet person that if she gets in trouble, I love that too. I love the vulnerability. I love the honesty. She's not pretending to be the perfect child. She's a loving auntie to know, you know. Quite often she gets in trouble and she goes to the principal's office. And um, Kaylee would say, you know, say that I'm in it. But most times Kaylee is really in it but sometimes even if she's not in it you know for the sake of being there for night as she says say that i'm in it so we can go to the office together that is a beautiful thing that is a beautiful beautiful thing and it's beautiful that at her young age she can see and understand the importance of loyalty and be there for kaylee and kaylee be there for her yeah mm -hmm. eventually we will get to the part that there will be less frequent visits to the principal's office. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, the big issue for her, I think, is usually that she talks during class and so on. Some of you will get that and some won't. In terms of understanding and appreciating the spirit of the child, you know? Um, yeah, so that really was a high point of the week for me with the lessons. Just her growth and her progress. Coming along well in spelling. Well, maths is her favorite, so no surprise there. But the reading, the spelling, the composition. And she really has a lot to say. So eventually we will get to the point where she'll be able to not just talk it, but be able to write and express herself fluently on the paper but right now we just let her like write out some notes like some keywords and then tell the story we don't want to be overwhelming the child we want to encourage the child recognize the effort and allow the child to continue to 
because he started to share freely. And I'm very happy about that. Then I had my Joshua. Oh boy. First online lesson such as joy. And a lesson for me to, to not limit myself. Because all along, especially because I do a lot of remedial work, I always have it in mind that I need to have that physical connection, be there with each other and all that. We can look in each other's eyes, that bond can be there. The child can look at Auntie Smoke. Um, I can observe the child. But if the child is reading, and they will try to pause and not interrupt and allow them to try to call the word. If I realize it's not happening, then I would say the word, you know. Um, it's like a certain rhythm. I don't know if I'm bringing it over myself to correct me, but it's like a natural flow to it. I don't ever like for anything to be forced. And I remember there was another little girl I used to teach called Nayari, also called Nayari for sure. And when she first came to me, she said she doesn't read well. A big part of it is that she gets anxious because the teacher will tell them to go to the front of the class and read. And then from the time she gets there, teacher will be saying, don't stick up. And obviously if teacher says, don't stick up, she's thinking in her mind, don't stick up, don't stick up, don't stick up. And then automatically she's going to stick up. <laughs> or if she's reading whenever she calls the wrong word, and teacher will instantly correct her. And then she will lose that um, rhythm because she's expecting that she's going to keep saying wrong words and teacher will constantly be correcting her. So at one session, she has shared that with me. You know, when I read, can you just let me read and don't let me interrupt me to throw her off track? Yeah. And I did that. And what I would do is make note. I would be making note quietly of the words that she found challenging. And then I would pick up those words and we would work on those things separately. And I found that was quite effective. Right, but I digress. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a big part of the reason that I always have desired to face to face as a physically in person in my lessons. And also because the children share a lot of different things aside from just academics. Yeah. But, you know, I can't say that the online lesson was lacking. It was very nice. Of course, we started off and he was a bit shy because it was a new experience for him, a new person, you know, for him as well as it unfolded. And it was as if I was seeing him unfold and open up and start to share about himself. He made a composition all about me. I'm going to either get him to read it or I'm going to read it myself next time. Yeah. Very sweet boy, he likes his sciences. Very positive, mannerly young man. He did that and we did it in comprehension. Yeah, and before we knew it, the time had gone. It was a really good experience and I'm looking forward to the journey with him. Seeing how he improves because he's very intelligent. He just needs to find the right person to work with him. And daddy even affirmed, you know, I made that point with daddy because he was saying, well, you know, he's very shy. He's not like me at all. They say he just needs the right person to bring him on. And then daddy instantly responded, and that person is you, Jess. That makes so much to me. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, that was a good reminder to me. Don't limit yourself, auntie. Imagine how many different children you can touch, you know, all over the world. You don't know. No, no more limiting for auntie. No more limiting for you, too. And that's not a lesson for me to keep to myself. And then finally, just conversations with my daughter, you know, young adult, 21. And Gabrielle, and she's at the stage now that we were having like a lot of conversations, different things she's seen, different things she's questioning. And even in this crop over season, uh, a lot of things are held at this location called the Botanical Gardens. It's supposed to be like a nice nature place, planting a lot of different trees, and somebody can just go and relax and be close to nature and so on. I guess perhaps for lack of other options, we started holding a lot of different events there. 
and your shoes seems to be kind of bothered about it obviously it's not the ideal place because then when you get rain it's all mucky and muddy and then um i guess logistical logistically is it's not really the best location at all times you know as she was saying why are we holding so many events there all the time we could just need a break you know and people will be going and like trampling on things and there's the noise and seem to be yeah <laughs> quite bothered about the need um the need for balance yeah when you think of it that way i was so proud of her she was going with the olympics and how we haven't concerned about the water being polluted i myself i'm not quite comprehending it <laughs> i don't know if somebody could enlighten me on that but we're saying like from day to day we have to see if the water is safe as in we understand it's polluted but not too polluted for us to be competing <laughs> i don't really get it but perhaps i'm just not supposed to but the point i'm making is seeing her grow into this beautiful thoughtful intelligent and insightful young lady to me i feel so proud about that once again academics career wise even that in itself is um unfolding and aligning and it's just not all will be well in that regard but seeing like um her character you know her spirit yeah those are the things that made me most proud so i'm sharing that as well be sure to take the time appreciate your child in a holistic way allow the child to feel seen you know in all regards could be sports could be personality could be character maybe they're helpful at home maybe they're very loving to their siblings Maybe they're the one to stand up for a child that's being bullied or something like that. Yeah. All these things deserve just as much recognition as what we usually give the accolades to. So I'm going to stop there. And you see, you know, every time I try to be consistent and come and share and offload a bit, give some encouragement. I don't do too well with being consistent with it, but we'll see that, yeah. I have to say when I get these, I call them downloads. I get these little downloads. I know they're not for me alone. So once again, I wish everybody a fabulous day. For those here, have a wonderful Kaduna day. For others, wherever you are. Oh, and special shout out to everyone being successful in the Olympics. Um, Caribbean pride for sure. I probably got to do a separate post for that. But yeah, <laughs> I see you. I'm not only seeing you winning the race, I see you in terms of your journey towards reaching this point now. All right, let me stop there. Bye-bye, everybody. Stay blessed.